Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall with a 60 minute time limit with the winner to be determined by pinfall, submission, or escape from the cage. And is for the TNA Heavyweight Championship of the World. And now, live from Philadelphia, it's time for your TNA Lockdown main event of the evening. Introducing, first of all, standing in the corner to my left, he weighed in this morning at 280 pounds and comes to us from Long Island, New York. Tonight, he attempts to become a four-time heavyweight champion of the world. He is the hardcore legend, Mick Foley. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing, standing in the corner to my right. He weighed in this morning at 250 pounds and comes to us from Venice Beach, California. Since October 23rd, 2008, he is the undisputed, undefeated, heavyweight champion of the world, the icon, Sting. Electric. Electric atmosphere here in Philadelphia. Mick Foley to challenge Sting for the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. And while that World Heavyweight title belt is at stake, there's so much more that goes along with it. Referee Earl Hebner, the third man in the cage. Well, right now, Earl Hebner's going to have to deal with a situation here as Cactus Jack's holding that barbed wire bat inside the ring. And I think Hebner's telling him he needs to take it out. And look at that. He handed it to him so that he can't use that as an excuse for the victory, and, and, and but it, what it was was it, it proved its point. It was the visual. Sting saw it. Sting got, got worried about what might happen with it, Mike. In terms of the main event, Mafia, how important is this match going forward? Sting, the TNA World Heavyweight Champion, JB, gave you the statistics. The title belt that's been in his possession and the possession of the main event, Mafia, the power, the control that goes along with the gold. I've been trying to think about the, the history of TNA, and I believe Sting may have had this title now as long or almost as long as anybody in the history of this company. Think about that. He has held this thing since Bound for Glory. Is that right? Of last year. Since October, and going forward in terms of the main event mafia, you know how much they love to flaunt that power and control and everything that goes with that TNA <laughs> World <laughs> Heavyweight title, and you see the totally unpredictable Mick Foley repeatedly punching himself in the top of the head the wound that was opened up and much like we saw this past Thursday on impact Foley has reopened that wound and goes right on the offensive against Sting and then puts the boot right into the top of Sting's head I mean if you're Sting you you, you just how do you deal with somebody this unpredictable how do you deal with this somebody with this many personalities how do you deal with a guy that that is a, not afraid to do the damage to his own face and I'll tell you what, it's got to get to your psyche. It's just got to get inside your brain and just, just. And Sting's gonna have to figure out of a way to just ignore what he's seeing, Mike. One thing is, as the blood streams down the face of Foley at his, at his own beating, and here comes Sting from behind. Sting's not gonna be taken off guard here. He's not gonna be surprised by this unpredictability of Foley. He knew from the second he got inside the steel cage what he's dealing with, and Sting fights back. Repeated shots and Foley crashing down to the mat. I'll tell you what, now keep in mind that, that Mick Foley changed the stipulations here and added in escaping from the cage also to get a win in this situation. You can see that he was, was, was charging to the top, and he also said that, hey, we're locking that door. Nobody should win that way. We're locking that door, and you can see there that, that Sting right now is getting control of the situation, rubbing his face on the cage. Oh, man. The wound, the cut above the eye of Mick Foley, further open by Sting, taking him by the hair, by the head, and dragging him right across the unforgiving steel. And 
Foley fights back, extends the arm, connects with the right hand, and another one that's right on the money. A third shot to the jaw has Sting reeling, and Sting just uses the top ring rope just, just to hold himself up, and Foley continues the offense with a big clubbing blow to the back that drops the champ. You gotta wonder who this is an advantage for. To me, I think it's an advantage to Mick Foley. If you're gonna sit there and brawl and throw punches, that's exactly what Mick Foley, I think, wants as far as the game plan to do in this situation. He's beaten down Sting, and he's listened to this crowd. He, he maybe has an opportunity to climb, but I think he's hesitating too long. And of course, Sting, when you get up this high, it can take a long landing. Sting able to recover. Meets Foley at the top rope. Series of shots by Sting, and oh, oh man! Sting used all of his power and strength to drive Foley back first down to the map, but I think it was a bad landing for both champion and challenger. Well, that's the thing. Every time you take a fall from that, even if even if you get the advantage of your opponent, it still hurts you. And you see the pin attempt, it still hurts you almost as bad. I mean, the bottom line is your body is hitting the mat from a distance it's not supposed to hit it from, and in this case, about 15 feet up. And I think we saw it right there as, as Sting took that extra few seconds to make the cover and Foley able to kick out. Sting tried to put Foley again face first into the side of the cage. Foley fights him off, and now Foley has Sting in the corner, and Foley measures and drives those right hands in. That's three of them, right to the top of the head, right to the side of the face of Sting, and now the choke hold, and referee Hebner warns him about that blatant choke. I'll tell you what, I mean, he turned this thing around with something simple as, as a headbutt, when Cactus Jack just took that forehead and slammed it on the Sting. I mean, this guy just has a pain threshold that is above and beyond anybody in the world. Look at this! Oh, oh Sting took the leg, did you see that? And, and look at Foley's leg. His foot is hooked at that top turnbuckle. Oh my God, Sting just did an unbelievable shot. I mean, he almost, it was unbelievable. You can see the leg buckled down and it's still stuck. Look at that right leg, Earl Hebner trying to get it unstuck. It's, he knows the damage that is there. And you can just see the pain right now on the face and, of McFarland. And Foley's ankle, Don, it's a, it was grotesque the way that ankle was twisted as it was hooked between the turnbuckle and the side of the six sides of steel. You know, we've seen so much carnage here tonight, but to see something like an ankle turned around a direction it's not supposed to go, stuck inside that rope by the cage, and I mean, Sting just, he just took the leg right out. Look at that, he's going right for that ankle. He grabbed a hold of it and, and applied the pressure. He knows where the damage is now. And think of how important this could be for Sting in terms of applying a move like his scorpion like that scorpion deathlock for a submission, what he's already done to weaken the leg, the, the knee, and the ankle of Foley. I'll tell you what, we've seen McFoley now on three occasions try to climb this cage and get out. What I'm gonna wonder is what kind of mobility that's gonna give him if he tries to do that again, if he tries to climb that cage. Can that ankle support him? Well, it's got to severely weaken any chances of Foley climbing out of the cage, and Sting just clipped him from behind again. I'll tell you what, that time it was like the knee. I mean, he is just taking those legs right away from Cactus Jack. I mean, he's just not allowing him to get any kind of momentum whatsoever. you got to admire Sting for that. I mean, that's what the greats do. They find a weakness, and they exploit it and he just keeps rubbing that head, that bloody wound in the six sides of steel. And I couldn't agree with you more when it comes to those desperation leaps by Sting. It weakens Foley's oh. ability to climb the cage and also potentially sets him up for the Scorpion and Mick Foley turns it around on Sting and the champion is just sent directly, face first, right into the cage door. I'll tell you what, the special lock they put on the door held, buddy, as he hit it straight on. But look at that left leg, he just can't put any pressure on it. You can see Foley just trying to, but he, it, it, it's just the pain that he had there in that, that leg. Foley connects with the kick, but at the same time, he goes down in the corner and Foley trying to regroup. Boy, Sting in trouble and, and check Foley right now, working on the knee, pounding on his own knee, trying to get that blood flowing back to the knee, trying to be able to support his body weight. Oh, you can just see the pain he's in. It's unreal. You can just see how gingerly he's, he's walking. But you know, again, it's somebody that he's able to just bear through that like nobody ever has Spinning in the history neck of the business. Two only. Holy cow. 
I'm sitting there and you saw the count go to two and you're, uh, you just figured Sting was going to get the shoulder up and buddy, he barely got it up at the last second. Yeah, I wasn't as sure as you where I saw him hit that neck breaker and I saw Sting's head hit the mat fully immediately on for the pin you just, and Sting barely escaped the three. Now here's the test. Here's the test as you see Foley. And again, you can see him reach down and grab that left knee. I mean, it's the Almost knee as if he the had angle. second thoughts yeah. right there when he went to the corner. He can't, he can't put weight on it. He can't climb this fence. Can't do it. Goes back with a boot for Sting. And then drops him down, spiked him on his head with the double arm DDT. I'll tell you what, though, that's twice now that Sting has hit. Had a violent shot to his head, and you think of the concussion. Arm Back extended. Here it is. One, Here's the two. pin. Two and. But he just doesn't have any oomph in that. When he got the shoulder up, Mike, there just wasn't any, you know, any snap to it. That's what's scary for Sting right now. At the same time, when Foley went for the cover, you notice he was just draping his arm across the prone body of Sting. It wasn't like he was able to put all of his body weight behind the pin attempt. You see the blood though in the eye of, of Foley, and again though he's just trying to. Oh, he just can't seem to get the weight right on that left foot. Look at that. And he's going to try and beat Sting in his own game with his own move with a scorpion. And Sting's fighting it off. Who better to know how to counter than Sting? Can Foley he get trying it to twist. Around? Foley trying to turn. He's close. He's close. He's, he's got it. And Hebner's right there. Hebner checking with Sting. Sting able to fight through it, but you heard a scream of pain come from his lungs there. As Mick Foley's hurt him and Sting is hurt bad. The problem is, is Foley so hurt? What's Foley motioning for here? He wants the door open. Open the door. He, open that damn door. He's saying, open the damn door. But, and he just shoved down referee Hebner. I mean, we heard him earlier say that, that nobody should win by going through the door. He wanted to lock, but you know what? This is a case where it's going against him. We never said you couldn't win by going through the door. He said you shouldn't win. And now, because he can't climb this cage, he's wanting to go through the door and end this thing. Couldn't well, agree you know, with you more. He's having second thoughts about the words that he had just moments ago right before this match. Well, that lock that's put on it, I watched him put it on. It is a gigantic lock. And it was his, what did he do? What? He just kicked the cameraman. What the hell? He just kicked the cameraman through the, through the hole in the cage where they put their cameras. Oh my God, he just took the cameraman out. My this guy's God. crazy. Just when you think you've seen everything here at lockdown, one of our cameramen has been sent flying and, and down because of the Foley kick. Look at this, he's trying to get to the floor. He's trying to escape through the hole. He's trying to escape through the camera hole. That is one way of escaping. Foley's trying to win by going through that hole and Sting's pulling him back. I'll tell you the bottom line is he doesn't have the strength and elegant Sting. He's firing up. He's fired up and the crowd knows it. Scorpion applied. Scorpion death lock locked in by Sting. And, and think of the pain that Foley must be in. The injured ankle and the injured leg, knee. Oh, you know that pain is just shooting through his body. And you can see, look at, look at him. Telling your old to keep his eye on him. And, and he's reaching, he's grabbed a hold of the cage and he's trying to climb through that Give again. Back. Give me the back, Dirk. Give me the back. He, Give me the back. He's yelling, give me the bat. Is it, that, that's the same cameraman he just took out, isn't it? Hey, what in the world is he get? He's got a hold of that barbed wire bat. The cameraman just, just did it, I guess, out of fear and gave him the bat, and now he's got the barbed wire bat in the ring. Foley intimidates the cameraman to hand the barbed wire bat through the, through the camera hole and into the cage. Sting, oh, Sting stops. Sting stops in his tracks. Sting backs up at the sight of the barbed wire. Oh, everything that he said he wouldn't do, he's doing. Foley swings and Sting able to avoid the contact in the second time. Foley swinging and, and Sting with every movement able to get out of the way of that barbed wire bat and then try and fight back with punches and down goes Foley. I'll tell you what though, I mean, you just have nowhere to go and it's amazing he was able to, to miss the brunt of it and look at this, Sting. He's gonna try to escape. Look out! Oh, he oh caught him God. with the bat of the leg. What a shot by Foley. Everybody. I mean, a baseball bat alone to the knee, oh. but then the bat wrapped in barbed wire. God, not Another again! Another shot! God! Two shots and Sting has dropped down. Sting's leg's taken out. He did one to both, one leg and one to the other. And now Sting crying in pain. 
But the bottom line is this, where's McFoley? He's either gonna have to make him submit here. We know he can't climb over the top of this cage with his ankle now. In, in Foley's mind, he probably thinks that, that that evens things up because Foley's having such a difficult time with his leg, with his knee, with his ankle, doing the same to Sting. Sting able to catch him with the drop hold, and did Foley go face first right into the back. And I'll tell you what, his hand went into that barbed wire too. You could see him holding onto that, and now Sting's got the barbed wire back. Well, you can see the blood streaming from Foley's hand, let alone his head, and Sting's got possession of the bat. Look at this, he's wanting to take a use shot. It. Oh, oh, right into the gut. As that barbed wire just been, been used, now Foley does it. Oh, another shot to the gut of Mick Foley. And now look at this, Sting's not done. Look out from behind, Sting oh. with the shot to the back of Foley. Another shot, and this is, I'll tell you what, this is a taste of medicine, and oh man, how many shots can Foley take as Sting has just creamed him now four or five times in a row. The level of violence, okay. it's even more okay. than we anticipated. And now he's got the barbed wire right in his face, All right, right in his, his eyes. eyes. Oh my God, I mean, you wonder how blind it is. But the, how about the shot though, the desperation shot by Foley. He had to do it, the kick backwards, the low blow. And then he puts it right uh, into the head. Directly into the head, into the face of Sting. And referee Hebner checking on his condition. He say, Hebner says, no, no, oh, and Foley drops down again with the bat. Oh, you're not gonna stop Mick Foley right now. I mean, you're not gonna tell him no. And I'm trying to look and see, oh, Sting! Oh, look at Sting! You can see the blood trickling down his head as Sting took that shot, that last shot in the forehead. Sting bleeding. And the sock is about to come into play. The blood flowing from the face of Foley as well as Sting, and Foley, He's wrapping the barbed wire around the sock and out drives it directly into the top of Sting's already busted open head. And I'll tell you, look at that, another shot and another shot by Foley as he just keeps applying the shots, beating down the icon, beating him down to the mat. One of the most vicious, violent, brutal World Heavyweight Championship matches we've ever witnessed. Oh. Sees Foley take the bat wrapped in barbed wire, and with all of his force, all of his weight, drive it right into the face and chest of Sting, my how, God. Oh my God, how much can he take? How much can he take? Sting there just crumpled to the mat. Look at it, Mike, he's, he's not even moving. You can just see his eyes, they got a glaze on him. Crowd now, realizing what's happening here. Remember, it's pin, submission, or first to escape the six sides of steel to win. And he's trying again to apply that weight. He realizes that's the only way to go through. His body wouldn't, look at that, Sting just trying to get to his feet. But the bottom line is, look at Foley, he's actually doing it. He's so close. Can Sting stop him? Sting, Sting going up. up at the same time. Sting is making his way. Foley's, Foley's slightly ahead of Sting. Who's going to hit the ground Who's going to touch the ground? You can see Sting trying to get over. Foley slides down, and Nick Foley has done it. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner.